Retain gang, what's poppin', man? So I want to give you guys some habits, small habits that can really help you on your journey. I know for me, 2024 has been a very testing year for me. A lot of obstacles, um, a lot of changes, and I've had to find new ways to focus, stay grounded, stay centered, and to stay on my journey, okay? And these habits have helped me out. So before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button, make sure you hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss none of this fire. Check out my courses. I have a 30 day semen retention course that I just created that's very useful if you are on this journey and you wanna become the best version, learn new techniques and habits each and every day. Also check out the Retain Gang community. You know, if you're interested in weekly live calls, the calls are lit, very high vibrational, man. And everybody leaves feeling good, feeling great. All right. So I also have some courses available on there and you get to be a part of a community that can hold you accountable, that can motivate you and that you can be yourself. All right. So I'll leave all my links in my description and in my pinned comments, man. Y'all tap in. So let's get into it, man. What you guys have to do first thing when you wake up is make sure you speak life into yourself. I love myself. I am confident. I am successful. My life is good. Today is gonna be a great day. Don't you wake up, don't you leave your house before you tell yourself you love yourself and that you are confident. You wanna make sure you're programming yourself with the right words. When you say positive things about yourself, you fill your cup up. Right, you enlighten yourself. So that's going to be your protection when you walk outside, when you go to work, when you're around people. All right, you wonder why so many people crash out when they get one negative comment or someone don't approve of their outfit, they don't approve of their lifestyle, they don't approve of you. You better make sure you're telling yourself how you want to feel before you go out and let somebody else tell you how they think you should feel. That's the issue with a lot of us. You know, I had to learn that too, looking for validation, looking for people to approve of me. You gotta get to a point where you don't care about anyone's approval because you've already approved yourself. You've already filled yourself up with light. So you don't need any validation from anybody else. You already gave it to yourself. You validated yourself. And that's what's most important. All right, so make sure whatever you gotta do, whatever it takes, if you gotta stand in the mirror all day, well, you know, as much time as you have, two, make sure you program yourself in the right frequency. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. That is your responsibility. All right, and this small habit is gonna change your life. It's gonna change how you feel about yourself. So if you find yourself having trouble with the first one, you know, really aligning yourself with the right energy and right frequency, you compare this with the first. This is what I do. I like to listen to binary beats, sound bowls, things of that nature. And the best time to use it is before you go to bed. Binary beats are gonna directly program your frequency. We sync with sound and vibration immediately. Okay, for example, you ever been watching a movie and there's a sad scene taking place and they have the sad music in the background? It's the sad music that makes you feel that scene more deeply. You start getting emotional, okay? Because it's a frequency and it's programming you. And if you had that same scene and you took the music out, I promise you it wouldn't hit the same. Same thing with comedies. They might have the wacky music in the background when something funny is happening and it puts you in that frequency to laugh. Okay, so this is very powerful and it's going to it's going to tap into you directly. I like to use them when I'm going to bed. Sometimes I sleep all night with them. You know, there's a bunch of them on YouTube that you can use. So you compare this with the affirmations. This is one of my favorites, man. That's really been helping me a lot. You know, going to bed, waking up with the binary beats and I just feel good the next day. All right, I've allowed my frequency to be programmed all night with this love binary beat or these healing bowls right so you when you wake up the next day you're already in a mindset 
to move in your authentic truth or to move with unconditional love. All right, this is going to help you to find ease within yourself. So these are tools that you can use, use them to your advantage. You know, the binary beats are very powerful and it can really heal you. It can really help you to get aligned with how you want to feel and, and, and what you want to accomplish for your day. This small habit that's, that's very important as well is don't take your day to bed with you. Repeat that. Don't take your day to bed with you. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? You guys let me know in the comment section. Have you ever went to bed angry? Have you ever went to bed frustrated? You know, you had a bad day or the day was very stressful and you just went to bed with all that on your mind. You know, all that weight on your spirit. And this is a no, no. We don't want to do this. OK, before you go to bed, this is what I like to do is you can either repent just go through everything that you might have done today that you didn't like or you might have you might feel like you could have done better, you know, and, and just repent. Forgive yourself and forgive others if you have to. You want to take away some of that baggage. You don't want to carry all this baggage into the dream state. All right. This is how we put ourselves in low dimensions and have nightmares and things like that. Because you're carrying that spiritual weight with you that's keeping you down, it's keeping you dense. We want to be light as a feather when we go to bed. This way we go into a, a high vibrational dream state. Okay, where we can get light codes and downloads and things like that. So get into the habit of leaving your day in the past. It happened. You know, I'm not going to take it personal. Be proud of yourself. Always tell yourself that I'm proud of you today. I'm proud of what you accomplished today. All right, this is going back to the first one, man. The words are powerful. You speak your life into existence with everything that you say. I had to teach myself to stop talking to myself crazy. Stop saying negative things about myself. All right, you might not think it's not doing anything to you, but it is. Even when you're just joking around, your mind, your subconscious doesn't know the difference, right? It is what it is. So let's release all this energy, all this baggage, all this negativity. It's not serving you. You don't have to hold on to that burden. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. You don't have to hold on to that burden. When I'm going to bed, I tell myself how I want my next day to be. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Tomorrow's going to be a productive day. I speak these things into my existence. All right. And I've, I've noticed that since I've been doing this this year, you know, doubling up on this this year, that my life has took a turn for the better. I feel more in control of my feelings and my, my direction of the day. And that leads into my next small habit that I've been practicing. This one has been really serving me well. And that's learning how to transmute my emotions. All right. See, we always walk around with our feelings on our sleeve and we direct our feelings towards people, towards situations, towards the wrong thing. And all you're doing is you're giving your energy away. All right. If somebody come up to you and they start talking crazy to you, someone pull in front of you in traffic, step on your shoes, I don't know, whatever might trigger you. You know what I'm saying? When you react to that, right, you are giving them your energy. When you cut somebody out, you're giving them your energy. You feel what I'm saying? You need to learn how to retain, redirect that energy within. All right. You want to know how to manifest your goals, how to be successful in life and get what you want. You need to learn how to visualize see yourself in your head of what you want to experience for example let's say i want to get a new car you know let's say i don't know whatever car it might be a mustang or whatever you got to visualize yourself in a mustang you sitting in, in, in the driver's seat with the wheel in your hand you know and picture every small detail how does the car smell what do you look like in the car what does the outside look like Right. What are you hearing? What are you feeling? 
You see? You have to use your perception in your imagination to really feel what it would be like. This is how you use your emotions for good. So instead of putting your feelings on your sleeve and projecting it outwards, you're bringing your emotions in and you're transmuting those emotions into what you want to experience. And by you putting your emotions into your imagination, you make it become real. All right, let me ask you guys a question. We all have memories. We all have traumas, right? When you relive those memories, do you not feel what it was like back then? Do you not still have those same emotions attached to those memories? You go back in time and you feel it, right? That's because your emotions are invested into that memory. So it feels real. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago. No matter how much time passes, you need to utilize this same art to manifest your goals. So we need to learn how to use our energy wisely, transmute your emotions and stop letting people siphon your energy from you. Right. That's all they're doing. Some people do that on purpose. They get a kick out of that. You know, you call them trolls. Every comment section has, them. you know, they want to siphon your energy. They want to get a reaction out of you because it gives them energy. All right. So let's do better. Another habit you guys need to practice, man, is learn how to eat less so that you can think more. All right. What do I mean by that? So you have two brains. Right. You have a brain in your head and you have a brain in the body, which is the intestines, the stomach that's considered the brain of the body. All right. So when we're eating all the time, what you do is you distract the brain of the body. So it has to use a lot of energy to digest and process food that takes a lot of energy. OK, and the body isn't able to fully be conscious of itself and its environment just like how our mind gets cluttered with thoughts you know when we're feeding our mind the wrong things when you feed your body food right all those chemicals that it has to process it affects your feelings and your emotions you you wonder why after certain meals you feel sad or you feel angry it's because your body has received that information through the food so the best way to cleanse that out and to be in your true self is to learn how to space your meals out when you wake up first thing don't start eating detox your body's still detoxing itself so what i like to do is i like to get you know warm water pinch of salt and some lemon and sip on that so that i can flush my system out or you can drink herbal teas fruits are okay too but you want to aid that detox process right I'm more active in the a.m. So I have a lot of things to do when I wake up and I find myself being more focused, more efficient, more productive because I'm on an empty stomach so that mind body connection is active. OK, your mind body connection is just the, the mind of the body being tuned in with the mind in your head. All right. And this is when you're going to be at your best. But when you eat. You create distractions. That mind body connection is lost. So now you're at the influence of the food that you're putting into your body. And the food actually affects your actions and the way you feel. So you're going to be very careful of that. This is why fasting is so important. I do intermittent fasting every single day. I won't eat my first meal till around lunchtime. And this actually makes your body more efficient at stripping nutrients from the food that you eat. You know, a lot of times we eat food and you're not getting everything you need out of it because your body doesn't know how to do it efficiently. This is why you always find yourself hungry. OK, but when you fast and you learn how to eat less and less, your body's going to be like, OK, this might be the only meal we get today. So we got to make sure we strip everything down from it. This is how we elevate ourselves. OK, discipline. You don't need that much food to eat. Trust me. It's not about how much you eat. It's about what you're putting into your body. What information are you feeding yourself? Okay, guys. So these are some small habits that's really going to take your life for a turn. It's going to help you to transmute yourself into the best version of yourself. But you got to make your mind up and do it yourself. Okay. You know, I know 
this is the time of year where everybody's on on their self-improvement kick but you need to do this all year round okay not just on a certain season and these habits are going to help you to be consistent for all four seasons all right man so y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video and what are your experiences with certain habits that you have to better your life all right if you need to speak with me i do one-on-one -on -one consultations so i'll leave a link in my description check out my courses check out the retain gang community guys i promise you it's a great investment for you so with that being said y'all have a beautiful day and i'm out peace